welcome back if you're new here i'm jesse and this is my friend bruni he's going to be joining me for this video because we're going to talk about polar nights this is cast into darkness this is by jen kalanita and mary mancusi i recently finished this one i think i read it in september or october this book picks up right after frozen 2. we follow anna elsa the whole gang we follow them as they begin to prepare for the Polar Nights Festival. This is an annual festival. This is Anna's first festival, so she is freaking out. And so she is asking Elsa to come down from the mountain and help her out with this festival. And so they have a slumber party and they are camping out with the boys and they start telling ghost stories. And Kristoff tells the story about two sisters and one of these sisters kills the other one and she turns into a drago what is a drago is an un undead creature that steals memories to make others forget the misdeeds it committed when it was alive and so this huge storm blows in after Kristoff tells the story and everybody begins to forget and we find out that the Drago is actually real and we are cast into a storm that is much bigger than the one that Elsa did in the very first one. The girls begin to try to figure out what is going on, why they are forgetting things and they want to find out the true story about these two sisters so they can make everybody remember and lift this curse and make the Drago go away. This story that Kristoff tells is about Inger and Cecil, and they are two sisters who are visiting Arendelle during the time of Anna and Elsa's grandfather. There is an argument. It is very similar to the relationship that we see in the very first Frozen between Anna and Elsa, we think, because Inger and Cecil are two sisters, and one is supposed to take over, and the other one is feeling jealous and guilty about it and this is completely untrue kind of the dynamics that we have right now of these two even though Elsa is completely happy and has no ill will against Anna whatsoever and we go through this book and the girls are trying to figure out who these sisters were and what is the true story behind these this accident that happened where one of the sisters dies and at the core this book is completely about sisters it's about Anna and Elsa it is about Inger and Sissel it is about them reconnecting as sisters even though you wouldn't think that they would need to reconnect but they have lots of great conversations in this book and at its core like I said this book is about sisters and I did read this in my review, in my monthly review, but I just tagged this quote because I absolutely loved it. And it says, there was nothing in the world like the love of two sisters. That is totally true. And I absolutely loved this book. I think this duo did an amazing job together of putting this together and writing this story. And like always, Jen Kalanita makes you feel like you're there with these characters and she stays so true to these characters. And I think she was the perfect person to do this because she also wrote Conceal Don't Feel, which is what if Elsa didn't know Anna existed. And that one is just so great and I believe this one is so great and I do have another Mary Mancusi on my TBR it is about Anna and Elsa's parents and I'm really looking forward to getting to that one soon but right now this is the one that I read and I absolutely love this one like always like I always say about these books I absolutely loved it when it comes to certain authors, I feel like you go into a book and you're like, I know this is going to be a good book. I know it's going to be a four stars because these authors have never let me down yet. They will. I'm sure they will. Jen Kalanita has not let me down yet. I've loved every single one of her Twisted Tales and I absolutely love this one and I cannot wait to read whatever else she puts out. This is a young 
middle grade, a young middle grade. I am a weenie. I get scared about everything. I did not, there were a couple of tense moments, but I did not get scared. So if you're looking for a great early middle grade book for your kids, for your girls, this one is great. I absolutely loved it. And I don't think I need to get a complete copy because I absolutely love this one and I will never get rid of it. Anyways, it is personalized to me from Jen and I will keep it forever. So this is my review of Polar Nights Cast Into Darkness by Jen Kalanita and Mary Mancusi. And that is all I have to say about this. If you have read this, please let me know. If you're going to read this, please let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.